All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we have another <laughs> unboxing video. This one I actually paid for, though, um, which which is cool. Um, so I wanted, like, <sighs> those call-its are going to get annoying there. Um, I wanted to do some modifications to my lathe. Uh, I mean, what I really want is a CNC lathe um, to do some of my pen work, because I've been doing more of it now, and I'm... I'm just trying to find ways to make it better, but I still like the aspect of making each one by hand. I mean, I guess a CNC lathe is still making a pen by hand, but I don't know. I think just a manual, to me, a manual lathe has some appeal and I like keeping it as that. And um, I, it's not in the budget right now to spend the money on a nice CNC lathe. And I still have a concrete lathe in the garage I got to work on. Anyways, um, I decided to upgrade my tag lathe. So I bought a new headstock for it. And uh, that's what's in the box. And everybody likes to watch unboxing videos, so... Oh, I shouldn't use this knife. This is the good knife. It's my foam knife. Use that one. Yeah, ready. Unlike my last video, this thing is made in America. Which, uh, is reflected in the price. But, uh... Like I said, you get what you pay for. So, this I should first say, um, I talked to Tag, and this is a blemished model, so it might have the anodizing might be a little off, or there might be a scratch on it or something. So, um, if it doesn't look perfect, that's why I haven't honestly opened it yet. Obviously, you can see we are gonna open it together. Uh, boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes. Okay, let's separate these so they don't jingle so much. Yeah, make a holder for those. Fries. Oh. Pulley. It's a new CNC pulley they have for their lathe. This is for their little CNC lathe. I debated buying the whole CNC lathe, but uh, it's just a little pricey and I don't think it'll fit my needs perfectly. Um, I also looked at like a Tormox Slant Pro, but that's another pay, pay budget scale upward. Anyways, manual for now. That looks freaking awesome. Oh, see, that's probably, maybe that's the blemish. The little itty bitty scratches. I'm not at all concerned about those. That's a nice piece of machining. All right, time to start the cleaning process on this. Uh, you can see this is my original headstock. Um, the one that holds the little collets, or pff, collets, uh, Chuck's three jaw and the four jaw. Um, and you can see it has a very wee little pass through. Not much will fit through there, so hence the upgrade. Um, there's kind of some schmoo on the bed here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna degrease everything, um, clean it all up. These are my most used tools. And this, basically these have to find a home because uh, I use them all the time. And I'm gonna degrease that, I'm gonna degrease that, degrease that, re-lube them up and uh, they should be good for the next little while. I might lap in, when I said lapping, I mean lapping the carriage to the bed here. I, a lot of the bed gets its most use right here. Um, so I think just a nice new lap will be perfect. I don't know if you can do that. Like, I don't know if you lap later on, but I'm gonna try it and see what happens.
So everything is cleaned up, re-oiled, and ready to go. Uh, I put some extra things in my drawer here just to kind of get it off the bench, and then I'll make a new block for kind of my quick access tools. I gotta leave my belt in here because a cat likes to come to the workshop and steal my belt. So let's get this thing belted up and see what it can cut. So it's a 3 8 end mill. It's probably the closest thing I have to something that's relatively precision. Now it's hard to tell with a dial indicator, but I would say that's maybe three tenths, maybe three, four tenths. Nah, maybe two, three tenths. So that's not bad. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, just one. bit faster. It's nice actually being too slow for once. There we go. Works quite well. All right, here's a huge advantage to using these little 5C collets is the way they can concentrically clamp is amazing. Check this out, I just turned this piece. I'll try to get it out of here. <laughs> I gripped that enough to put a chamfer on it, so I had maybe a sixteenth of an inch. And uh, I mean, I didn't put a huge cut through it, but the fact that I could actually hang on to that and cut it is amazing. So that'll be hugely helpful to me. So that's everything. Um, I'm very happy with this headstock. I've now used it for like 20 seconds. So <laughs> I'm gonna play with it a little bit more. I gotta align the tailstock to the headstock and then uh, turn dowel so I can figure out, you know, get everything aligned beautifully. Um, having to be, or the ability to pass through on this thing will be awesome. And the belt is a huge upgrade. I got so much more torque now. Um, I can actually use a lot more of this motor before it slips. So very happy with this. I will continue using it. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to you guys next week. Or next video, next time. I'll talk to you at some point. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.